logging in. With the tablet snapped in the cradle if you have one, and the truck engine on and running if this is the very first time you've ever logged into your ELD, the POV app will open automatically. If not, tap on POV from your home screen or in your apps folder. Enter your username and password. Typically, the first screen you will see will be your tractor screen. Bluetooth connected tablets will have to choose your tractor here. Use the search or scroll through the list. If your tablet is already paired to a tractor, you will see the pairing and then can tap next step at the bottom. On the trailer screen, choose none at the top if not pulling a trailer. Use the search or scroll through the trailers to select your trailer. Tap next step at the bottom. On the status screen, you can see your hours of service limits on the left, including consecutive off-duty hours, which will show how many hours you've been off-duty or in sleeper berth. Select your duty status on the right. Then finalize login. When you get logged in, if you are required to submit a digital pre-trip form, you'll see a reminder message. Go directly to your inspection form by tapping Inspect Now. We will look at inspections in the inspection segment of this video. You may also see a message reminding you to certify any unsigned logbook records. Tap Certify Logbook. Here on your logbook tab, tap your calendar to see which days are not certified. The dates with check marks are certified. The ones with no check marks are days you need to sign. Tap the day, tap the orange certify button, choose agree. Keep choosing uncertified days and sign them until all dates are certified. If you have more than one day in a sequence that does not have any records and all are unsigned, you can choose to bulk certify them on one screen. Choose Agree All to sign all these dates all at once. Then Save. Here you can see that all dates are certified except the top date, which is today, and does not need to be signed yet. Use the House button at the top to go back to your home screen. To add or change your shipping document number, tap the Commodity Ship Dock Number button. Whatever you enter here will stay until you change it again. Change it multiple times in one shift, or keep it the same through multiple shifts. 